Welcome to ABC News. And welcome back to my channel. Our special guest today is me. Hi, loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole Sierra. I really wish that I could talk all day at an angle because I think I look best only at an angle. Like when I'm straightforward, it just you can't really see the highlight. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a simple warm tone fall everyday look that I like to do using the Modern Renaissance palette. Mine is very ugly, and I'm gonna have to buy a new one because I just got it kind of dirty. So first, I'm going to be dipping into raw sienna right here and applying that into my crease with a Morphe M441 brush. Honestly, all I can think about right now is how I want to go get some tacos after I finish this. Like, that's my motivation right now is that starving and I just really want to go eat some tacos. And that's all that's on my mind is some tacos with some good green salsa and I don't know, it's just really calling my name. So now that I'm done blending that into the crease, I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush and dip it into Burnt Orange. And this is like the darker shade right here. I'm going to apply Burnt Orange into my crease as well. Next I'm going to go in with Weird... Next I'm going to go in with Real Gar, which is this really orange shade right here and apply that only into the like outer V of my eye. So we want to keep it basically on the outer side. I decided to extend Real Gar more into like a wing so I kind of just flick the eyeshadow a little at the end so it gives it like a really more like dramatic look and I love the way that this dramatic eyeshadow looks when I wear big lashes and I got this inspiration from Tina Halada. I love the way that she does her eyeshadow at first to me I feel like it almost looks a little weird like the actual shape of it but when she actually finishes and does all her lashes and everything she looks so bad. The eyeshadow might look a little off when I don't have the lashes on but she looks amazing so I trust her process so you should definitely go check out her page. And last I'm just going to apply Primavera on using my finger because it gets the most pale and apply it to my So that's it for the shadow. I'm just going to apply liner and lashes off of camera and then I'll be back with the finished look. So that's it for today's video. This is the completed look for my favorite everyday fall warm makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It just takes just one second to make my day and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you're my bestie. Or if you're my friend, because who doesn't like a thumbs up? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.